for the Samuel Proctor Oral History Program. This is Marna Weston. And we're here to talk about Lincoln High School 1965 week. Today, I get the opportunity to speak about a man who is going to be honored during these ceremonies. 1965 was an incredible time in the United States. In fact, the 60s were just beginning to take off in terms of how people looked at each other and how we looked at ourselves. During these weekend ceremonies, we will recognize Dr. Charles Hall. Dr. Hall graduated from the University of Florida in higher education, but before UF, he had many other life experiences. He was an American that gave his time and put his life on the line in service to his country, serving honorably in Vietnam and leaving uh, the military as a second lieutenant. From that, he ended up in Gainesville. But it's interesting how small Gainesville is when you think about some of the people that I talked to in preparation for this interview. For much of the last two years, I've worked with the committee to create the new courthouse downtown and it be renamed after Judge Stephen Mickle. The chair of my committee was Mr. Philemon Wright and the vice chair was Tarsha Rents. And they both have unique experiences with Mr. Hall. After honorable service in the United States military after Vietnam, leaving the military as a second lieutenant, Dr. Charles Hall ended up applying for positions in the educational service here in Alachua County. He actually had a friend that we know as well who was involved, who was Mr. Philemon Wright. They were both applying for positions in dropout prevention for Alachua County. One of the areas was a place called Mountaintop on 39th. Hilltop, which was in High Springs, is where Dr. Charles Hall began his educational career here in Alachua County and how it bloomed from there. Mrs. Tarsha Rents, now at the University of South Florida, remembers Dr. Hall most warmly. She points out that he was her seventh and eighth grade principal when he was at Mabane Middle School. And that from there, he also helped her with assistance and letters of recommendation and moving on. And when she graduated from high school, she had no idea she'd be coming back to have a chance to work with him again. And yet, when he was principal at Fort Clark, he hired her for her first teaching job. She talked about the impressive way that he carried himself as a middle school principal, that he was always articulate, that in many ways affable, but very serious in the way that when he would come in the cafeteria, all the kids would automatically come to attention. You didn't even have to point it out. He didn't, he didn't threaten, he didn't yell, but they knew because of his nature, much of it military with his precise dress and the way he carried himself, that he was not to be toyed with. She said she was always impressed with that. She also pointed out that he was the first black man that she knew with a PhD. And so he represented and modeled higher education. She shared that he used his unique networks and communications and contacts, opened them up to her for every opportunity to move her forward in her career. And she stated that she wouldn't be the person that she is today without the confidence that he had in her and that he showed in her abilities. To hear that from Tarsha after working with her for a year and a half on the Mickle Renaming Ceremony Committee meant an awful lot. It shows how small Alachua County is, that you can develop those types of relationships that cross over to many people's lives. And here I was about to talk about Dr. Hall, and I had a chance to talk to her, and she shared that. Also, Philemon Wright was the chair of that committee, and Philemon Wright shared with me all of the inside knowledge on where Dr. Hall served that he had been a business teacher at Buholtz High School, that he had been a middle school principal at Mabane, a middle school principal at Fort Clark, that he had actually become the first African-American principal at Gainesville High School. And when we think about the 1960s and the integration of our schools, we realize that Gainesville High School was a center point in what was taking place throughout the nation with three African-American students who had been doing very well at Lincoln deciding to take the chance to go to Gainesville High School, it changed how people looked at education and in many ways changed the legacy of Lincoln. Lincoln is remembered this weekend fondly though because of people like Dr. Charles Hall. It's a pleasure to be able to be here and talk about the proclamation he's gonna receive. And I'd read it to wit. Presented to Dr. Charles Hall, PhD, in recognition of being the first African-American to become the principal of Gainesville High School, Gainesville, Florida, Black History Month Celebration Month, 
2023. It says a lot, but also what we can realize in this celebration is there's much still to be written about our heroes. When you go to places like the internet and you look for a Dr. Charles Hall or almost anyone else, their stories are not the stories that are told broadly yet. We have to continue our writing and retelling of the story so that when you do go to Google, when our kids go to Google, when our students go to Google, they can find out information about great heroes of the 21st century. Thank you.